Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashish Mahamani. Today we are going to discuss about post quantum cryptography threads and algorithms to fight those threads. At the end of the video, we are going to look at the code and libraries which implement those algorithms in Java. But at first, we would like to know what are quantum computers and why one need to know and need to worry about them now. Quantum computers are type of computing device that use principles of quantum mechanics to perform certain type of calculations much faster than classical computers. Key capabilities and features of quantum computers include superposition, qubit can represent multiple states at the same time, classical, classical bits in uh, today's computer can be one of the two states, 0 or 1, while qubits can exist in combination of 0 and 1 known as super, superposition. This allows quantum computers to perform many calculations in parallel. Entanglement, qubits can become entangled where state of one qubit is independent on state of another, even if they are physically separated. This allows for strong correlation and can be harnessed for certain computational tasks. Quantum parallelism. Quantum algorithms can take advantage of superposition and perform certain tasks exponentially faster than classical algorithms. Shor's algorithm for integer factorization and Grover's algorithm for unstructured search are examples of problems where com quantum computers show significant speed up. Modern cryptography uses around 313 digit prime number. That's very huge. Factoring such big prime even on today's supercomputer would take around 16 million years, but not on quantum computers. Shor's algorithm is a quantum algorithm for finding the prime factors of an integer. On quantum computer to factor an integer n, Shor's, uh, Shor's algorithm would take poly polynomial time log n, the size of integer for a given input. The Shor's algorithm could be used to break policy public key cryptography scheme, which are uh, fundamental to modern cryptography such as RSA scheme, finite field Diffie-Hellman key exchange, elliptical curve Diffie-Hellman key exchange. Shor's algorithm was developed in 1990, 1994. Wait, this, prob this algorithm is known for so many years, but why it matters the most now? So first of all, if you have heard about harvest now decrypt ladder, which, which is known as store now decrypt ladder or retrospective description is a surveillance strategy that relies on acquisition and long-term storage of currently unreadable and encrypted, encrypted data awaiting possible breakthroughs in decryption technology that would render it readable in future. This is very dangerous. The most common concern is the prospect of development in quantum cryptography which would allow current strong encryption algorithms to be broken at some time in the future, making it impossible to decrypt any stored material that had been encrypted using those algorithms. Second point is, in 2022, Physics Nobel was announced to John Clauser and his team. They have conducted groundbreaking experiments using entangled quantum states, where two particles behave like a single unit, even they are separated, their results have cleared the way for new technology based upon quantum information. Clearly, it was a boost for com quantum computing manufacturers. So now, how can we cope up with quantum computers threat to existing cryptography algorithms? NIST, NIST, the National Institute of Standards Technology, is an agency of United States Department of Commerce. They they have they are start standardizing these post quantum cryptography algorithm. They conducted a competition, and in, um, from from that from the from that competition, we have Crystal Skyber algorithm. Skyber is a key encapsulation mechanism KEM designed to be resistant to cryptanalytic attack with future powerful quantum computers. It is used to establish a shared secret between two communicating parties. This asymmetric crypto system uses a variant of the learning with error lattice problem as its basic trapdoor function. It won the NIST competition for the first post quantum cryptography standard. Remember that this algorithm is still undergoing its fourth standard uh, process most quantum extended Diffie-Hellman, that is PQXDH, is a Kyber based post quantum cryptography extension. Uh, it was implemented just now, one month back, like we are discussing this in October. Uh, this was implemented by Signal Protocol in its end to end en encryption protocol. And so this means its adoption has been already, we are starting. Okay, so now we are going to see. So in September 2003, the developers of Signal Protocol announced that it is being updated to support PQXDH, that is Post Quantum Extended Diffie-Hellman. 
so now we are going to look at uh, its implementation uh, so uh, you can see on my screen yeah this is kyber jb jc project crystal kyber java here uh, if you have already used any defi hellman uh, algorithm previously it it works very similar way for a developer we don't have to worry about its implementation you have to pass kyber 1024 specification kyber 1024 provides nist security level 5 that is equivalent of as256 latest release when this video was recorded version 3.00 release was released on 15th of august there is a beta version of bounty castle also available you can see this code all credit goes to stack overflow i'm going to share this code via github so that everyone could try it out version i am using uh, of bounty castle library is 1.76 workflow of sharing secret remains same as that of defi hellman and ecdh that is elliptical curve defi hellman thank you for my thanks for watching my video please like share and subscribe thank you